Hi, I'm Bon and I don't know about you but I'm the type of person who often gets bored with hobbies so I tend to switch between different hobbies every now and then. This YouTube channel actually started as a drawing channel but I've since made all of my drawing videos private so nobody else will get to see those videos ever again. Unless you pay me or something, maybe. Anyway, my most recent dopamine hit is of course film photography, and like what I said in my past Q&A video, there's still a lot in film photography that I would love to try, so it's managed to grab a hold of my attention for quite a while now. But I'd be lying if I say I don't get bored with it every now and then. To get over this, instead of simply forcing myself to go out and take photos or begrudgingly create algorithm-friendly content for YouTube or Instagram, I prefer to try and take on personal creative projects that keep myself amused. At least every now and then, and keep this in mind because I'll get back to this later on. Recently, I've come across this new plastic reusable film camera, the Kodak Ektar H35, which some of y'all asked me to review, and maybe I will. I have one on pre-order, but who knows when it will arrive. The Kodak Ektar H35 is a unique plastic film camera in that it takes half-frame photos, as in it only exposes half of a 35mm film frame. So you get twice as many photos, like around 72 if you have 36 exposures, which I think is cool, so I pre-ordered it. But, because I'm impatient and impulsive AF sometimes, I went on ahead and bought a different half-frame film camera from eBay, the Olympus Pan FT. I've always wanted a Pan FT back in 2018 but decided not to buy it then, and totally forgot about it until somebody brought up the Kodak Actor H35. And now that I got it in my hands, man, it doesn't disappoint. It's beautiful, well-built, and feels very solid in my hand. The simple but elegant design reminds me of rangefinders, but it is in fact a single lens reflex or SLR camera. It comes with interchangeable lenses too, though I only have the 38 f1.8 that came with the camera. But as much as I'd love to talk about how handsome this camera is, that is not the point of this video. Remember how I said I'd like to take on some creative challenges every now and then? No? Well, part of why I wanted to buy a half-frame film camera is to challenge myself to do diptychs. What are diptychs? Well, according to Wikipedia, a diptych is an artwork consisting of two pieces or panels that together create a singular art piece. Now, you can just take two images and put them side by side, but for this challenge, I wanted to make the diptychs in camera, as in I will take two photos, one after the other, with the goal of making them coherent or complementary. And because I was using a half-frame film camera, the resulting frame contained both of the images, which just meant I couldn't cheat myself. But I still ended up breaking the frame in two because I didn't really like the black border in the middle of the frame. But yeah, as soon as I got a hold of my Olympus Pan FT, I loaded it with a roll of the new Cinestill 400D and went on with the challenge. And here are some of my results. At the beginning, I was looking into making visual puns. So for example, this pairing. Do you get it? It's um, it's a hook and an elevator with the up button being lit. So it's a hookup. But that was really hard, uh, especially when the photo has to be one after the other. So another pairing that I thought about was real and replicates, like these ones. Of course, there's also the simpler pair of variations on the same subject. Similar colors. Shapes. Different angles.
zooming in and out or overview and details, and combinations that show different items but lets you fill in the big picture. Like when I see these two together, I think, oh, a playground. This challenge really made me intentional of what photos to take and trying to do that for 36 pairs was tough. Hence, I made some combinations that don't really make sense. But there are some that I thought were quite smart, like this one here where both photos show a confectionery shop, but one is yellow and the other is purple, so they're complementary, and the angles run opposite each other. Sometimes I also get lucky. Like here, after I took a photo of the flowers, I really wanted to take a photo of the street, but I thought it wouldn't make sense. But then this person wearing green crossed the street and I was like, aha, color similarity. <laughs> I know, it's kind of a stretch, but I like it. I also really like this one where I took the photo using a slow shutter speed, and the next one using a fast shutter speed. One thing I didn't really think about while taking these photos, but thought about afterwards, is to make frames that are sequential and could tell a story. Like here, I took a photo of my friend looking at a certain direction, followed by what she was looking at. So kinda like comic panels or movie stills. But yeah, I will probably do this challenge again not only because it made me more intentional and observant, but it also really pushed me to be more poetic about how I see the world making connections both visually and thematically. I also encourage you to take on this challenge too, and if you do, please let me know and maybe show me some of your results. But that's it for this video, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again in the next one. Cheers!